Well, happy Easter. And you might be wondering what we mean by that. You know, you can tell we lost the message when we started covering cards with rabbits and eggs and, <laughs> uh, and we'd stretch uh, the significance because actually there wasn't much significance there. Oh, we made it into a springtime festival. That's why I put some tulips here today. But let's try to get to what I think is the basic. And the basic is beautiful. Now, those of you who've read The Universal Christ, this won't come as new to you. But to most people, it's, it's utterly new. Let me start this way. That we got into trouble when we made the, the person and the message of Jesus into a formal religion whereby you had to have an object of worship and you had to have a priesthood. I'm not saying we throw out the priesthood. Don't, don't throw that in or the ministry. We still need people who care about people. But uh, once you uh, emphasize cult and moral code, you've got religion. When you emphasize experience, unitive experience, you have the world Jesus is moving around in. So what we did, once we made Jesus into a religion, into a formal religion, and then a state religion, even worse, we projected the whole message onto him alone. <laughs> he died, he suffered, he rose from the dead, he ascended and returned to the Father. And we thought that by celebrating these wonderful feasts, like Easter, this was somehow meaning we were members of the club. But you know what? I'm, I'm quite sure that was not intended as the message. Jesus was not the lone exemplar. Jesus was not the standalone symbol. He was the symbol and probably could stand alone. That's why it lasted this long. But as we said in the universal Christ, he was the name for everything. This is the pattern of the universe. This is the way things work. And, and so when we say, Alleluia, on this Easter morning, we're saying alleluia to our own lives, to where they're going, where they're heading, what we believe in, what we hope in, even this terrible pandemic that we're traveling through. But if we read history, how many pandemics there have been, much worse than this one, when there was no health care. We have no reason to think we are a unique uh, generation on our side. This is just the way reality works. It rolls through cycles of death and resurrection, death and resurrection, death and resurrection. And we're just assured in the raising up of Jesus that this is the pattern for everything that we also, and anybody you might know, who's suffering from this COVID-19 is also going to be raised up. This is what God does to suffering reality. What we crucify, what reality crucified, crucifies, God transforms. So we have every reason to say alleluia, and I don't think it's naive now, especially since biology and science are also confirming this seems to be the shape of everything. It just keep change, keeps changing form, keeps changing a symbol or meaning or focus or direction, but nothing goes away totally. 
Now, I know the act of faith on our side is to our eyes, it goes away. Mom is gone. My son is gone or whatever it might be. But Jesus is the archetype of the shape of the universe. So to believe in Jesus, which don't think I'm taking that away from you. I think that's the shortcut like you have on your computer right in front of you. Just push the button and you get there quickly. And the button says, uh, all of this is going somewhere and God is going to make it so. So all we got to do is stay on the, the train, stay on the wave, trusting that our crucifixions, what we allow to fail and fumble and die, will be transformed by grace and by God. So Easter is the great feast of the triumph of universal grace, the triumph of universal salvation not just the salvation of the body of Jesus, which is lovely, but that creates a religion. What we're talking about creates a, a, a people of hope, a culture of hope that can't slip into cynicism and despair. And I guess we've all, in these weeks been at least tempted to slip into cynicism and despair. So Easter is saying, don't go there. You don't need to go there. Love is going to win. Life is going to win. Grace is going to win. Hallelujah.